in you. Ooh. Tree's coming at ya. He needs arms. <laughs> it's sort of endearing, sort of weird, which is what emus are. G'day, I'm Ann Jones, the ABC's Nature Nerd, and today we're going to be unpacking some viral emu videos. Is he playing ball? <laughs> this is an emu that looks like he's been hand reared. Looks like a young emu because he's got dark feathers. See how curious he is? He's testing it with his beak because, you know, like we have hands, emus don't. That sort of like stompy sort of excited behaviour, I've sort of seen that happen around snakes as well. They're just so excited by life. When they're little, they're stripy, and that's partially sort of camo. Oh, you can see a little floppy wing. Yeah, they, they do have wings under there. They're just not very useful, are they? One of the interesting things is, is they've lost flight. Scientists think that what happened is they used to be able to fly, and over time they found that running was more efficient, so they gradually lost the ability to fly and probably in the process of doing that became bigger as well. And that's why we see the emus that we have today, which are as tall as a man and very silly. Next video, more emus. Now what's happening over here? Oh God, I wonder if that emu wants to mount it. He loves you. I wonder if this is curious or it's some sort of mating display. It's like a dance. Emus don't just necessarily bump into each other in the desert and have sex and that's it. They have courting behaviours and it involves all sorts of noise making and circling each other. So maybe this tourist is getting a dirty holiday. Just wander off into the distance, Aww. never to be seen again. They're all following Dad. How it works in emu world, right, is you get a little bit of a dance going and then you have a little bit of a mate and the bloke will have already built a nest and the female goes over and she lays a clutch of eggs, maybe 15, and then as soon as she's done that, she buggers off. And from there on, it's the male who does all of the child rearing. He will basically sit on those eggs for months, incubating them, turning them, and he won't eat, and he won't drink, and he won't even poop. And then when they hatch, he will look after those little chicks. Sometimes they sort of just seem to take on other emu dad's flocks. <laughs> and so you'll end up having multiple clutches, like, you know, of 20 or 30 little babies, all following dad. Whoa, look at him go. They run exactly like dinosaurs, don't they? They can run at like 50 k's an hour when they really want to. This is a very typical emu behaviour. They'll often run directly in front of the car. <laughs> Just go off the side or you'll go past. Go off the s Nah. Okay, we've got the next one. Ooh. Ooh. Oh dear. Ooh. Hear the bopping? Hissing. Oh dear. This. Very unhappy emu. You can see that that bird, when it's aggressive, it's standing up very tall, making itself big by sort of fluffing up its fluffy feathers all over its neck. And you heard really beautiful sound in this one, both hissing, which is extremely sort of aggressive, and the bumping, which is the emu's native sound, and it does it by inflating an air sac and womping it. Is womping a technical term? No. <laughs> Womp. They they wobble. <laughs> Why are you upsetting that emu, mate? Put the camera down and get out of there. There is no doubt an emu could hurt you with those huge claws. They're three-toed and their middle toe is much, much bigger. Perfect for disemboweling you. I mean, I haven't heard of it happening. The emu deaths that do occur, and they're, I suppose in an indirect way, are emu deaths, are actually through road accidents. Because emus have no road sense, like zero. And in fact, they'll often make the exact wrong decision when it comes to road sense. So that's it for this video, but there are more to watch in the How Deadly series. So 
you should be able to click on some links. And if you've got an idea for an animal video, why don't you send it in to us or leave a comment below. Anyway, until next time, catch you later.